in the quiet suburb of Millbrook, nestled just outside the bustling city of Hartford, Connecticut, a heinous crime shattered the illusion of peaceful suburban life. On a crisp autumn morning in September 2018, the body of 17-year-old Sarah Thompson was discovered in the woods behind her family's home. The gruesome scene sent shockwaves through the community, leaving residents locked behind their doors and whispering about the killer who walked among them. Detective Michael Carter, a seasoned investigator with the Hartford Police Department, was called to lead the case. With his sharp intuition and unwavering dedication, Carter delved into the intricate web of lies and deceits surrounding Sarah's murder. Little did he know that this case would challenge his perceptions and force him to confront the darkest aspects of human nature. As the investigation unfolded, suspicion initially fell on Sarah's stepmother, Amanda Wilson. The troubled relationship between the two had been no secret to their neighbors, and Amanda's apparent jealousy of her stepdaughter seemed to provide a motive. However, beneath the surface of this seemingly straightforward case lay a twisted tale of betrayal, secrets, and fatal consequences. At the center of this tragedy stood Robert Wilson, Sarah's stepfather, a respected businessman and pillar of the community. Robert appeared to be the grieving father figure, supporting his wife through their shared loss. But as Detective Carter would soon discover, Robert's carefully constructed facade concealed a web of lies that would ultimately lead to his downfall. This is the story of a murder that tore apart a family, challenged a detective's instincts, and revealed the devastating consequences of unchecked desire and betrayal. It serves as a chilling reminder that sometimes the most dangerous predators are hiding in plain sight, wearing the mask of normalcy in our very own neighborhoods. Sarah Thompson was a vibrant and promising young woman whose life was cut tragically short just weeks before her 18th birthday. Born to single mother Amanda Thompson in 2001, Sarah grew up as a bright and curious child, always eager to learn and explore the world around her. From an early age, Sarah showed a passion for art and literature. Her teachers often praised her creativity in insightful essays, marking her as a student with great potential. Sarah's artwork adorned the walls of her high school, and she had recently begun to explore photography, capturing the beauty of nature in the woods behind her home, the same woods that would ultimately become the site of her untimely death. Despite her academic and artistic achievements, Sarah's home life was far from perfect. When she was 12, her mother married Robert Wilson, a successful local businessman. While Sarah initially welcomed the stability Robert brought to their lives, the relationship between stepdaughter and stepfather grew increasingly strained as Sarah entered her teenage years. Friends and classmates described Sarah as kind-hearted but fiercely independent. She had a small, tight-knit group of friends and was known for standing up against bullying in school. Her best friend Emily Chen recalled Sarah's dream of studying journalism at NYU, aspiring to become an investigative reporter and uncover truths hidden beneath the surface. Sarah's relationship with her mother had always been complex. As an only child, Sarah had been the center of Amanda's world for years. However, the arrival of Robert in their lives created a shift in dynamics. Sarah often felt that her mother prioritized her new marriage over their mother-daughter bond, leading to frequent arguments and emotional distance. In the months leading up to her death, those close to Sarah noticed a change in her demeanor. She became more withdrawn, spending increased time alone in her room or wandering in the woods with her camera. Her art took on darker themes and her usually meticulous schoolwork began to slip. Emily remembered Sarah seeming distracted and worried, but when pressed, Sarah would brush off concerns with a forced smile and a change of subject. What no one knew at the time was that Sarah had stumbled upon a secret that would prove fatal. In her quest for truth and her natural curiosity, she had uncovered something that someone was willing to kill to keep hidden. Sarah Thompson's young life, full of promise and potential, was snuffed out just as she stood on the threshold of adulthood, leaving behind a community in mourning and a mystery that would shake Millbrook to its core.
Robert Wilson, aged 45 at the time of Sarah's murder, presented himself as the epitome of suburban success. A charismatic and well-respected financial advisor, Robert had built a thriving practice in Hartford, managing the wealth of some of the city's most affluent residents. His polished appearance and confident demeanor made him a natural leader in the community, serving on the local chamber of commerce and coaching youth soccer. Born and raised in a working-class family in Boston, Robert had clawed his way up the social ladder through a combination of charm, intelligence, and ruthless ambition. He met Amanda Thompson at a charity gala in 2012, and their whirlwind romance culminated in marriage just eight months later. To the outside world, Robert appeared to be the perfect husband and stepfather, providing stability and financial security to Amanda and Sarah. However, beneath the veneer of success and respectability, Robert harbored dark secrets and unfulfilled desires. His marriage to Amanda had quickly lost its luster, and he found himself drawn to the excitement of an illicit affair. For the past year, Robert had been involved in a passionate relationship with Elena Gonzalez, the wife of his next-door neighbor and close friend, David. Robert's affair with Elena was more than just a physical attraction. He felt truly alive in her presence, experiencing a connection he believed he had never shared with Amanda. The two lovers would meet in secret, stealing moments of passion while their spouses were at work or running errands. Robert became expert at lying and manipulating those around him to maintain his double life. As Sarah entered her late teens, Robert found himself increasingly uncomfortable in her presence. Her perceptive nature and keen eye for detail made him paranoid that she might uncover his infidelity. He began to avoid spending time alone with his stepdaughter, making excuses to miss family dinners and events. Friends and colleagues described Robert as charming and generous, always ready with a joke or a helping hand. David Gonzalez, unaware of Robert's betrayal, often praised him as the best neighbor and friend a man could ask for. Robert's clients trusted him implicitly, drawn in by his confident assurances and impressive track record. Yet those who knew Robert best sensed an underlying current of discontent. His assistant at the financial firm noted his increased irritability and distraction in the months leading up to Sarah's death. Robert's longtime friend from college, Mark Stevens, observed that Robert seemed to be living on edge, as if constantly looking over his shoulder. Little did anyone suspect that behind Robert Wilson's carefully crafted image lay a man capable of unspeakable acts, driven by desperation to protect his secrets and preserve his way of life at any cost. The grisly discovery was made on the morning of September 15, 2018, by a jogger on his usual trail through the woods behind the Wilson residence. The body of Sarah Thompson lay partially concealed beneath a pile of leaves and branches, a crude attempt at concealment that did little to hide the horrific nature of the crime. Detective Michael Carter arrived on the scene within the hour, his experienced eye taking in every detail. Sarah's body showed signs of a violent struggle. Bruises marred her arms and face, and defensive wounds on her hands indicated she had fought desperately for her life. The cause of death was immediately apparent. A jagged wound across her throat, likely inflicted with a serrated blade. As the forensics team combed the area for evidence, Carter noted several key details. Sarah's camera which friends claimed she always carried on her woodland excursions, was missing. Drag marks and disturbed vegetation suggested the body had been moved from the initial site of the attack, possibly in an attempt to hide it from immediate discovery. Perhaps most tellingly, there were no signs of sexual assault, leading Carter to suspect that the motive for the murder was personal rather than opportunistic. The brutality of the attack pointed to a crime of passion someone who knew Sarah and had been driven to a moment of uncontrollable rage. As news of the murder spread, the once peaceful community of Millbrook descended into a state of fear and suspicion. Neighbors who had previously left their doors unlocked now double-checked their security systems, 
parents kept their children indoors, and the woods that had once been a place of recreation became a no-go zone, cordoned off with yellow police tape. Detective Michael Carter, a 20-year veteran of the Hartford Police Department, took charge of the investigation with grim determination. Known for his meticulous approach and uncanny ability to see connections others missed, Carter had solved some of the department's most challenging cases. As he stood in the Wilson's living room, surveying the family photos on the mantel, he knew this case would test him like never before. The first 48 hours of the investigation were a whirlwind of activity. Carter and his team conducted initial interviews with family members, friends, and neighbors. School records were examined, her social media accounts scrutinized, and her movements in the days leading up to her death were painstakingly reconstructed. Robert Wilson, appearing shell-shocked, provided a detailed account of his whereabouts on the night of the murder. He claimed to have been working late at his office, a fact corroborated by security footage and his assistant's testimony. Amanda Wilson, still visibly distraught, struggled to maintain composure during her interview. She admitted to having argued with Sarah the afternoon before her disappearance, but insisted it was just typical mother-daughter friction. As Carter delved deeper, a picture began to emerge of a household fraught with tension. Neighbors spoke of frequent arguments between Sarah and her mother, their raised voices often carrying across manicured lawns. Sarah's best friend, Emily Chen, described her as increasingly isolated in the weeks before her death. Emily revealed that Sarah had confided in her about tensions at home, hinting at secrets that weighed heavily on her mind. Sarah's journal, discovered hidden in her room, painted a picture of a young woman struggling with her stepfather's overbearing presence and her mother's seeming indifference. As Carter pieced together these fragments, he began to sense that the key to solving the murder lay within the Wilson household itself. Further investigation revealed that Robert's pristine alibi had cracks. A closer look at the security footage showed gaps in the timeline, and inconsistencies in his assistant's testimony suggested she might have been covering for him. Amanda's behavior also raised suspicions. Her emotional volatility and cryptic remarks hinted at knowledge she was withholding. Carter's instincts told him that the family's secrets were the linchpin of the case. With mounting evidence pointing toward the Wilsons, Carter intensified his efforts. Forensic analysis of Sarah's belongings uncovered fingerprints on her camera that matched Robert's. Additionally, fibers from Robert's clothing were found at the crime scene, linking him directly to Sarah's murder. Amanda, under increased scrutiny, eventually broke down and confessed to knowing about Robert's affair with Elena Gonzalez, adding another layer of motive to the investigation. As the case unraveled, it became clear that Robert, driven by fear of exposure and a desperate need to maintain his double life, had lashed out in a moment of uncontrollable rage. Sarah's discovery of his affair had sealed her fate. The community of Millbrook, once peaceful, was left to grapple with the horrifying truth that one of their own had committed such a heinous act. Detective Carter, though tested like never before, had once again uncovered the truth, bringing a measure of justice to Sarah Thompson and her grieving loved ones. Emily Chen revealed that Sarah had been increasingly unhappy at home, feeling trapped and misunderstood. The forensics team's initial findings provided more questions than answers. Trace evidence found on Sarah's clothing didn't match samples taken from Robert or Amanda. The murder weapon, likely a hunting knife or similar serrated blade, was nowhere to be found despite an extensive search of the Wilson property and surrounding areas. A breakthrough came when Carter interviewed Elena Gonzalez, the Wilson's next-door neighbor. Elena, visibly nervous during the interview, mentioned that she had seen Sarah arguing with Amanda in the driveway the day before her disappearance. More intriguingly, Elena let slip that Amanda had always seemed jealous of her daughter's youth and beauty. This information, combined with the tumultuous home environment and Amanda's shaky alibi for the night of the murder, led Carter to focus his attention on Sarah's mother. He theorized that years of resentment had finally boiled over, resulting in a confrontation that turned deadly. 
As the investigation entered its second week, Carter felt confident they were on the right track. He obtained a warrant to search Amanda's personal belongings and communications, hoping to find the crucial piece of evidence that would break the case wide open. However, a nagging doubt lingered in the back of Carter's mind. Something about Robert Wilson's calm demeanor and perfect alibi struck him as too neat, too convenient. Little did Carter know that his instincts were leading him toward a truth far more sinister than he could have imagined. As the investigation progressed, all signs seemed to point toward Amanda Wilson as the prime suspect in her daughter's murder. Determined to uncover the truth, Carter delved deeper into Amanda's past and present, scrutinizing every detail. He discovered a pattern of volatile behavior and strained relationships, further cementing his suspicion. Yet despite the mounting evidence against Amanda, Carter couldn't shake the feeling that something critical was being overlooked. He revisited the forensic evidence, the timeline of events, and the testimonies, searching for the elusive clue that would reveal the full picture. Carter's relentless pursuit of the truth began to pay off when he discovered discrepancies in Robert's alibi. Cross-referencing phone records and surveillance footage, he found that Robert's movements on the night of the murder didn't align with his statements. This revelation reignited Carter's doubt about Robert, prompting a closer examination of his actions and relationships. The turning point came when forensics identified fibers from Robert's clothing at the crime scene, directly linking him to Sarah's murder. With this new evidence, Carter confronted Robert, whose facade of innocence started to crumble under intense questioning. Robert confessed to the affair with Elena Gonzalez and admitted to fearing Sarah would expose him. The pressure of maintaining his double life, combined with Sarah's discovery of his infidelity, drove him to commit the unthinkable. In a moment of uncontrollable rage, Robert had killed Sarah to protect his secrets and preserve his reputation. As the truth emerged, the community of Millbrook was left to grapple with the horrifying reality that Robert Wilson, a respected figure, was capable of such a heinous act. Detective Carter's instincts and tenacity had once again uncovered the truth, bringing justice for Sarah Thompson and her grieving loved ones. The investigation, marked by twists and turns, ultimately revealed the devastating consequences of unchecked desire and betrayal, serving as a chilling reminder that the most dangerous predators can hide in plain sight. Detective Carter, driven by the evidence at hand, began to build a case against a 42-year-old homemaker with a troubled past. Carter's team uncovered a series of heated text exchanges between Amanda and Sarah in the weeks leading up to the murder. In one particularly vicious argument, Amanda accused Sarah of trying to sabotage her marriage, while Sarah fired back, calling her mother a pathetic, jealous old woman. These digital breadcrumbs seemed to support the theory of a family dynamic that had reached a breaking point, further fueling suspicion. Amanda's behavior in the aftermath of Sarah's death was also concerning. While initially distraught, she quickly became defensive and evasive during questioning. Her alibi for the night of the murder was weak. She claimed to have been home alone watching television with no one to corroborate her story. A search of the Wilson home uncovered a journal hidden in Amanda's bedside table. Entries detailed her growing resentment towards Sarah, lamenting the girl's beauty and the attention she received from Robert. One disturbing passage read, Sometimes I wish she would just disappear. Our lives would be so much better without her constant presence, her judging eyes. The case against Amanda seemed to strengthen when a neighbor reported seeing her return home in the early hours of the morning on the day Sarah's body was discovered. Amanda had no explanation for this late-night excursion, claiming she must have been sleepwalking, a condition she had never mentioned before. As circumstantial evidence mounted, Carter felt increasing pressure from his superiors and the media to make an arrest. The community, gripped by fear, demanded justice for Sarah. Despite the mounting evidence, Carter couldn't shake a nagging doubt about Amanda's guilt. Her erratic behavior and inconsistent alibi made her an easy target. But something about the case felt off. Carter decided to dig deeper into Robert Wilson's background, suspecting that there might be more to the story. 
His investigation uncovered financial discrepancies in Robert's business dealings and a pattern of infidelity that included several women besides Elena Gonzalez. As Carter followed the money trail, he discovered that Robert had been embezzling funds from his clients to cover personal debts and support his lavish lifestyle. This revelation added a new dimension to the case, suggesting that Robert had much more to lose if his secrets were exposed. The breakthrough came when Carter found a hidden compartment in Robert's office containing a bloody hunting knife, the likely murder weapon, and a stash of cash. Confronted with this evidence, Robert's demeanor shifted from confident to panicked. Under intense questioning, he broke down and confessed to killing Sarah. He admitted that Sarah had discovered his financial misdeeds and threatened to go to the authorities. In a fit of rage and desperation, Robert had confronted Sarah in the woods, resulting in her tragic death. He had tried to frame Amanda to deflect suspicion from himself, leveraging their strained relationship as a convenient cover. With Robert's confession, Carter was able to clear Amanda of the charges and bring the true perpetrator to justice. The community of Millbrook was stunned by the revelation that the seemingly upstanding Robert Wilson was the real monster hiding in plain sight. Carter's persistence and refusal to accept easy answers had uncovered the truth, ensuring that Sarah Thompson's death was avenged. The case served as a stark reminder of the complexities of human nature and the lengths people will go to protect their secrets. Detective Carter's unwavering dedication to finding the truth ultimately restored a sense of safety and justice to the community, highlighting the importance of looking beyond appearances to uncover the real story.